Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Casually and today what we will be doing is we'll be making a very simple project in Python and that is a contact book. I know this tutorial is for people who are trying to get into Python or people who are trying to start a project and they don't know what that would be. So contact book would be one of the best one because it will teach you about how you can store data into the database plus how to pull it from the database. So I have my Visual Studio code up and running and we'll start uh, making, we will start by making a file and this will be a py file. So what we'll do here is we'll save it with dot py and then we'll name it um, book file. And then the moment you save it, you'll have a screen here. And now what you'll do is you start importing modules. Uh, so like import um, pk enter as pk and then we'll import we'll import SQLite. So basically we'll use SQLite to store data and pull data back and through Tinker we'll be making a UI. So for that, what we can do is we can simply write the location where the database would be. We'll write, we'll write it afterwards, and then we'll start defining the route. It will be tk dot tk, and then tk, and then we'll give it a geometry of uh, let's say 400 into 300. And now what we can do is we can write a label and then that label would have pk dot label we'll place it in the root we'll give it a text called name and then we have to place this we'll place it and say x will be 5 and y let's say will be 20 and this is a label so we would not uh, press on height and width so for input we have to get the name as well so we'll write name input equals to pk dot text we'll place it in the root and then we'll place it by writing place x will be the five of the same and then we'll put y equals to okay. similarly we can simply copy and paste here Instead of name label, we can write name label and name input can become home input. Now what we have to do is we have to change the uh, x and y axis for the same. So for phone label, what we can do is we can the x can remain the same and then after a2 we can write 120. And then for phone input, what we can do is instead of one, instead of eighty, we can write one sixty. So for input, we will define the height, and that will be around twenty-five. And then width can become two hundred. We can copy this, and then phone input is here. And now you have to write a store button. So store button can be very easy and that will be pk dot button. It will be placed in root. Text would say store slash find. And then we'll set a command. And command could be store find. And then we have to place this button as well, so we'll place it, we'll write x equals to 5, and then y it can be 20 or something. Just because we have root with us, and we'll write root dot name blue, and now we have a UI ready. So, uh, just because we have uh, already declared a function, so before running the uh, project, before running the program, we have to define this function as well. So we'll write store find, and then we can do 
so find and you want to print something just to check whether you are into the project this is just for the debug purposes but into the function so you'll get to know the moment whether the button works or not so the moment you are in you will write connection equals to sql like three dot connect and then i can write db we'll place the location for the db here anyway we'll write our cursor now cursor will be connection dot cursor and then we'll close it. so now what we have to do is we have to fetch input from the name and we have to fetch input from the phone so what we can do is we can write name input here and then we can write dot get and then i one point zero and then tk dot n and similarly we'll copy and paste paste it over here instead of this place this and then we'll say name equals to this phone equals to this now if phone is less than one what we can do is we can write pass else we will write a function so we'll write a function to store the data first and then we'll write the function to import the data from the sql so now we have to write a query that will say uh, insert into uh, we have to write the name of the database so we have a database here so this is a sqlite database the name of the database is uh, contact book and this is the um, name of the table so we can just copy and paste it over here and insert into contact book and then we can write values and then we can say this can be the name and this will be the so it's just because this is the integer one so you don't have to put quotes here we can simply write phone number and then uh, what we can do is we can write format and then m can be the name and p can be the phone number the moment you have done this you have to write this i mean you have to execute this query so we can write cursor dot execute with the query here connection dot commit and then connection close and now you have to change this so now this will deal in inserting the data but we have to pull the data as well so we can copy and paste this one write this one and now instead of insert we can write select from uh, but we have to know what we have to select so in order to do that what we have to do here is we have to copy this one go back select uh, from contact book so select what select phone from contact book instead of writing this we'll write where name equals to this and we'll remove this one so format will be the same we'll remove this one and name is something that we already have uh, we'll run the query and then if we get the answer, we can write most down equals to cursor dot fetch all. So the fetch all means every row that we have found in the name of the one that we have described. So now what we can do is phone number is found. Of course it is found. So what we can do is we will found and then we can write zero so basically any the first row that we have found that is something that we are trying to pull out and we have only selected phone so that will only give us the phone number and then what we have to do is just because this has to now get we have to set a value here so we will do insert and where we have to insert we'll insert on zero and then we'll do phone and probably this should work uh, let's see we will run this this is 
So I, oh, okay, so we have not uh, stated the location of the database. That is very important. So it would not work. Uh, well, let's see whether the UI pops up or not. So UI pops up. So we'll close it. Uh, we'll have to go into our database. So we'll select database. And then we'll go on to project that. And then we have to copy this one and place here. Uh, right now I'm not using raw, I'm just giving you this because this is very, uh, very uh, it's a beginner tutorial so you should know what double slashes are for. So the moment you'll get this database up, you place it here. Now you can run it. And now we'll try to store for ABC. Number would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. See whether it stores or not, and then it will go here. You see, there is no data. Let's see what the error is. So it says, uh, if phone is this a phone is basically okay. So, what we have done here is we have written phone. So, ideally, we write if the length of the phone is greater than it's, it's um, lesser than though, lesser than one. Then it would. Yeah. No issues, we'll start again and we'll see whether we have interfered in the database. No, we'll write A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we'll store. And the moment we refresh, we have the phone number. Okay. Now, what we can do is in order to pull this phone number, we can remove this one and we can write this. And then it should give us the result. So, uh, let's see what happened. So it did not pick the, I guess it did not pick the change. We'll close it. We'll control S. And then we'll run it back. Make A, B, C. And then let's see what the issue is. We have a uh, syntax error. Let's see why. Okay. Let's see where we went wrong. So we have written select this, 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 and then this, this, this. Okay, let's see what we have here the issue. And again, so this is going back for another reason. And now we'll try to run. Let's see what exactly the issue is. Why this is coming? It says there's a syntax error near this one. So sorry for that. We have fixed the issue. Uh, basically, what we were doing, we have we had written uh, it was one, but now we have changed it to two. So that means anything. So when we say the length is lesser than two then this function will work or else this would work and there was another um, issue uh, basically it was not an issue we had written two times a name but now we have changed the label it is name and phone so we will run this program and then uh, we'll, we'll try to import the we'll try to import the phone number for abc and then it says this one if we have this one and we have to check whether this is there or not we have ABC1. So um, let's move this and see if it is comes the Similarly, this is one of the beginner's project. Um, there is a lot more that you can try and then learn um, how to grow in the specific field when it comes to Python and SQLite. If you face any issues, you can just simply drop in the comment and give me the name of the project that you want me to do, I'll do it for you and the code will also be there in the description box. Thank you and please subscribe to